Dealing with a stingy boss like him is no walk in the park, am I right? Yes, I totally agree. I'm gonna follow Keiji-san's lead. Huh? Thank you for everything. My name is Keiji Sato. Me and my high school bud Masato opened a pet grooming salon together. It's been four and a half years since we launched the salon. Keiji-san. Her name is Noah. She's my amazing business partner and manager at the salon, and we make a great team. Guess what? I got an influencer to promote our salon again. Oh, wow. That's impressive. This will help us get more customers again. You never disappoint, Keiji. You're a pro at trimming pets. Nah, I wouldn't say so. I wish we had more customers coming in. If we're gonna do this, let's be the best one out there. You're right. But I think we can show animals more love and respect if we keep doing what we're doing. Dude, seriously? We don't have any ambitions or dreams for something better in the future? Well, I do, but... Oh, I'm curious. Care to share your thoughts? Once we have a bit more financial stability, I want to rescue pets who are in need of loving homes. Oh my gosh! That sounds amazing! <laughs> seriously? I don't think that's the right move. We won't even make any profit from it. Yeah, that's because we're not doing it just for the profit. Mm, but that would definitely be challenging, don't you think? It's doable, but it won't be a walk in the park, that's for sure. Listen, rescuing animals can be emotionally draining. And that could negatively affect our business too. Keiichi, half-hearted efforts won't cut it in this industry. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. But what Keiichi-san's saying is true. We could totally pull it off if our profit increases a bit more. If we do it at our salon, we can save some animals at least for a little bit. Hold on, are you actually being serious? I'm sure our salon would benefit a lot from it. I don't see any issues with that. If it's just a passing thought, no problem. I think we're doing enough by taking good care of the pets we're currently in charge of. Let me come up with an estimate to see if we can save some animals. Thanks so much. But it's only a wish, so don't feel obligated to make it happen. Got it. My ultimate goal is to help animals through rescue work. I became increasingly motivated for that. And more people started showing up at our salon. Our salon got really popular, and I was finally able to make my ultimate goal a reality. But... So, what's the deal with the animal rescue plan? Is it still happening? Absolutely. Ugh, you can't be serious. Is that an issue for you? This is gonna come out of my pocket, huh? No, that won't be necessary. You guys wouldn't be down for that, right? Well, yeah. Just think about how much trouble we'd be in if our salon was way in the red. We simply can't afford to do that. Noah, uh, let's not go ahead with this idea, alright? But... but... I need you to do this for me, okay? Hey, tell everyone else about this, but make sure Keiichi doesn't find out. Yes, sir. Um... Actually... There's something I've been wanting to chat with you about for a while now. Wait, Noah-san, do you have a crush on Masato? Come on, don't be ridiculous. Let's talk after work. Just us two. All right. Great job today, Noah. Thank you. You too. So, any progress on that plan? About that. Let's just pretend that the plan never came up in the first place. Wait, what? Was the plan too difficult to carry out in the end? Yes, something along those lines. I see. Well, that's a bummer. I guess it's just not meant to be. What Noah is saying must be true if she made that decision. Ever since that day, I felt like Noah and everyone else at work were being distant towards me. Then one day, a terrible thing happened. Keiichi. Can I talk to you? What's up? Actually, I'm officially resigning from this place starting today. The other workers are all feeling the same. What? What do you mean? Why? It's pretty obvious, don't you think? Dealing with a stingy boss like him is no walk in the park, am I right? Yes, I totally agree. Masato-san, you're super nice and smart in so many ways. I hear you, dude. Hold up. You're joking, right? Do you all genuinely feel that way? Of course they do. I've always known you're really good at what you do. But I had some doubts about your ability to be a successful entrepreneur. Starting today, I'm gonna do things my way. See ya. 
No way. Is our business really over? Who needs Keiichi when we have our expert trimmers? Let's go for a business that brings in some serious cash. Keiichi-san. Noah, I'm at a loss here. What do you think I should do? Masato and the rest of the employees are all leaving the salon. Actually, me too. Wait, what did you just say? Starting today, I'll be working at Masato-san's pet salon too. Are you kidding me? If I'm doing something wrong, I'll make sure to fix it. Just let me know what needs to be fixed and I'll take care of it, please. Keiichi-san, you didn't do anything wrong. Huh? It seems like Masato-san had this in his mind from the get-go. His idea was to use your trimming abilities to draw in more customers and... I had no idea. I can't even believe he'd pull something like that. So there's nothing wrong with you, Keiichi-san. It's just... This isn't the right moment to bring this up. I can't talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. Noah! Please just trust me on this. Now if you'll excuse me. Before I could even process it, I was left on my own. It's crazy to think that I lost my closest pal and business partner all at once. What did I do wrong? I guess I should just give up everything and... But I can't give up on these animals. Yeah, I can totally handle it. I won't give in. I'll keep pushing until the end. And after that, I just kept working by myself at the salon. I was under the impression that this job would have been the most difficult I've ever had, considering the unfamiliar responsibilities. But it turned out I had more free time than ever before, and I often found myself bored. Seems like Masato took all our regular customers, so I was stuck with only new customers. And it dawned on me that I was losing motivation for everything. I wasn't even on trimmer duty, let alone doing the animal rescue work I always dreamt of. And the stress was slowly getting to me. The level of quality in the product lineup was probably dropping as well. My business was constantly running at a loss, making it difficult to source premium products. Hmm? We couldn't have made it this far without all of your help. We're the ones who made it all happen. Exactly. Well, his salon is thriving. From that point on, Masato's salon was booming. His pet salon was showcased on numerous TV programs. And six months passed since then. The money I had saved was gone, and I was contemplating shutting the pet salon down. Today was another slow day at work. Barely any customers showed up. I guess it's time to call it quits and start fresh. It's hard to forget the day when he and I put up that sign together. It's making me nostalgic. And Noah popped in right after we opened up. And then... Keiichi-san. I'm sorry to make you wait. Huh? Why are you here? Thank you for keeping the salon running for this long. Please let me work at your salon again. B but what about Masato's salon? I quit. What? Hey! What's going on here? Why did you just do that out of nowhere? Masato? Wait. Don't tell me. Noah, you... I'm going to follow Keiichi-san's lead. Say what now? Thank you for everything until now. Seriously, you're bailing on us when we need all hands on deck? Hang on. Were you planning this from the very beginning? Keiichi, did you have her spying on my salon or what? Excuse me? We've basically had zero customers for the past six months. When I looked into it, Noah spilled the beans about my company situation to our regulars without getting my permission. What? Really? Your company situation? I just filled them in on what's been happening. Don't worry. I made sure to let them know what a lousy business owner you are. What in the world is going on here? Just so you know, Masato-san's been using cheap shampoos and tools to groom the pets for the past year. Without letting anyone in on it, he was being sneaky using some really bad quality stuff instead of the high quality ones we promote at the salon, just to minimize costs. It's insane how he's been secretly trying to increase our company's profits by ripping off our customers with subpar services and high prices. I found out about this six months ago, and I confronted Masato-san about it, but then... So what? As long as the customers don't realize, we're good to go. But we're not providing the appropriate services to our customers, which could potentially cause problems. Since you're part of this business, can you do a favor and act like you didn't see that? Seriously, get the hint. This is it. I'm out. Time to go home. But what about your work? Ask someone else to handle it. 
Make sure to tell Keiichi I'm not feeling well. Damn. I'm so irritated. When I saw Masato-san getting all worked up, it made me anxious. I was worried that if I pushed him more, or kept confronting him, things could get dangerous. It was then that Masato-san decided to break off and do his own thing. He had plans to launch his own pet grooming business and taking our loyal customers with him. But that would also mean allowing him to escape the consequences. Besides, I was anxious about what would happen if I left the pets with him any longer. So I went to work for Masato-san's business and I would secretly help the regular customers and their pets to stay clear of the salon. And at the same time, I had to ensure that Masato-san wouldn't pull the same stunt again. Today I sent out a letter of apology on behalf of the company. In it, I acknowledge that we, as a company, have misled our customers. Are you for real? Did you seriously do that? No wonder we kept getting complaints. What? You just found out about it now? Duh! I need to go check immediately. There's no one for Masato-san to unleash his anger on anymore. Keiichi-san, I'm really sorry for what had happened. And I'm also sorry for not telling you about my plan first. I thought that the key to outsmarting our enemies is by gaining their trust and pretending to be their allies. But I didn't want him to know what I was up to, so I couldn't really tell you. I really do hope that you'll forgive me. Noah, and you guys. Alright, I understand. Can you all help me out again? Keiichi-san. Managing this business is a struggle, and I could really use some extra hands. I'd be happy to work with you all again. Really? Thank you so much! Come inside. It's cold out here. We can go through the details there. Yes, thank you! And I asked Noah to fill me in on what Masato did at the salon. Turns out he's been pulling some shady stuff without my knowledge. And I was seething with rage. Seriously? Masato-san's a difficult guy to deal with. All he thinks about is making money. That's the kind of person he is. Now I finally know his true colors. Hey! What? Masato, you're here again? How dare you betray me? Noah, you really messed up big time. What you did is a huge breach of responsibility. You really spilled the tea on the company's secret information. Of course I'm aware of it. But more than that, your actions are totally unacceptable. That's right. Noah was simply fulfilling her responsibilities as an employee. Exactly. I was just being truthful and never exaggerated anything. I simply stated that our salon is utilizing subpar products and delivering a lower standard of service than what we advertised. So by deliberately doing that, you obstructed our business by attempting to lower the company's sales. Plus, leaking confidential information about the company to the public is a violation. No, I don't think so. Is it actually against the law for a restaurant to disclose that their chicken and egg rice bowls contains chicken? Um, that's... The only thing I did was tell the truth, and then the customers made the choice after finding out the truth. That's all. If you don't believe me, you can always ask the customers. Uh, of course I will! Right now, one of our guys is reaching out to the customers and... So you're back here because the customers were complaining, huh? Gah. Wait, you really thought that would be enough to intimidate us? Did you really come here just to make us say sorry to you? That's... Alright, listen to me very carefully. Have you even considered reflecting on what you did? It might make a difference for your business, and Noah's giving you a great opportunity to do so. I can't forget how much you adored animals in your job. That was your thing, but somehow you're not the person I used to know. I definitely mentioned this in the letter I left for you. The letter? I didn't see that anywhere. Oh, I slipped it in the envelope with my letter of resignation. Did you get rid of it? I'm pretty sure he won't get rid of it now that you quit. Just how desperate were you to win back those customers? I'm honestly shocked that you're not even a little bit sorry and don't want to change. Yeah, I assumed you went back to your company to reflect on your actions. What's the point of me doing that? What I did was something that most salons are doing nowadays. So, are you gonna apologize on behalf of all the other salons then? Excuse me? Seriously, don't even go there, Masato. When I set out to make this the top pet salon in Japan, I made sure to prioritize the comfort of both animals and customers. Remember when I mentioned that to you? Are you actually keeping your end of the deal? And... You're the reason why I did this, Masato-san. I wanted to show you how foolish your actions were. 
Why didn't you just speak up and say that then? What's the point if there's no talking? See, you're totally missing the point. What did you just say? I think you should work on controlling yourself when you're angry. Being all mad and stuff doesn't do anyone any favors. I know you're trying to hold back your anger, but the employees in Noah were definitely feeling uneasy. But I'm not super angry or anything. I mean, who wouldn't be ticked off if someone did that? The customers who were on the receiving end of our terrible treatment also have a valid reason to be angry as well. I'll join forces with the customers and file a lawsuit against you and your business. Are you being serious right now? Yes, of course. What you did was deceitful, you promised more and charged more than what was fair. Uh, oh no! You don't have to go that far. Of course I do. Have you ever stopped to think about how much people trust us with their precious pets? You've broken that trust, so you deserve this. No, this can't be real. What you're trying to do just isn't gonna happen. Yes, it will. We already talked to the lawyer. Had you approached us calmly and logically, I would have thought twice about the whole thing, but... N no way! Uh, I'm really sorry. It's my fault. So please, just don't do that. Do you still have any videos from the salon? Of course. Everything is stored on the hard drive. If we do some digging, I'm sure we can uncover what Masato did. Ah, oh, dude, come on! We've been best buds since high school. Don't betray me, Keiichi! Betray you? Who are you to make that statement? When you were the first one to betray me, if your best bud is up to no good, it's only right to step in and put a stop to it. I'm here to help you make some positive changes and improve your life. K Keiichi! Keiichi! You should probably go home now. Bye. It's important to look back and learn from the mistakes you've made. Goodbye. Thank you for everything until now. After that, the regular customers sued Masato, and he ended up losing the case. After facing criticisms, Masato garnered a lot of attention from the public. But this ultimately led to the end of his career working with animals. No one's hiring him, and he's struggling big time. I know the consequences might seem harsh, but they were necessary. The employees who followed Masato's lead were in the same situation. None of them have jobs and are just trying to get by. Our salon is back up and running, and we even started doing animal rescue work. Noah's help really boosted the salon's growth. We make a great team, don't we? Yeah. And I'm positive that we'll be an amazing team outside our work, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.